Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to connect your registration page with your database. So, for example, when some new user registers himself to your website, his data goes into the database and you can see the data in the table. But you have noticed and I have already uh, also told you in the last video that for the ID field, I will show you a technique or the trick to create a globally unique ID or in general it's called GUID or GUID. GUID is a globally unique ID and it is considered to be unique all around the world and if you want to learn more about GUID you can just uh, see on Wikipedia globally unique identifier or GUID. So it's a unique identifier for each data. So and it looks like this. It's 32 bit long string and it looks like this. You can see it here. Now in this video I will show you how to generate this globally unique ID and save it into the database so that for each user you have unique ID assigned for the new user or each unique user. So let's get started. How can we do that? So in the last video if you have remember or in, in the last last video we have created the database. Let's see what is the data types of the database. So go to the solution explorer and go to your table. Right click it and open table definitions. So you have here right now when I when we have created the database you would be having here the data type integer or or this character 10. But because this GUID is uh, 32 characters long so we can uh, increase the characters from here or we can choose n where care 50 from here okay so just change the data type of your id and now what we do is we will save this data type so just click this save button and it will show the message that if you want to change your uh, database you need to uh, clear the prevent saving changes options. So I will show you how to avoid this warning. Just go to your tools and click options here and then go to database tools here and then go to table and database designers and click it. And in here, there is an option called prevent saving changes that requires table recreation. Just uncheck this checkbox and click OK. And now save your table. And now it will take the changes which you have done. So what we have done is just change the data type of this ID so that it can take a 32 bit long characters or string. Now in the registration form so we have this registration form and when we double click the submit button in here we in the last video we have written a code to insert the data into the database. Here I will change just a few things here. First is we will generate a GUID or GUID from your ASP.NET code. So what you need to do is inside your try block and at the top of your code just write GUID GUID and give your GUID name. So for example I say new GUID or GUID is equal to once again good dot 
new grid and bracket and bracket closed so what it will do is every time you will uh, click this submit button it will create a new unique id and save it as new grid so we have created a new grid and that now we need to save it into the database so this is the code for connection and open connection and we have passed a query to insert the data into the database i will make it a little bit bigger so you can see i have written insert into your table name whatever you is, is your table name and then the columns which is username email password and country so this i have written here in here just add one more column which is id so i will write id comma and then rest of the column username email password and country and then after bracket close there is a word called values and then we opened a new bracket and we are passing the values here in here also just write at the rate id and give comma okay and now we just need to use this and we just need to save this new newly generated unique id to the database for each user so after this sql command com code just copy this uh, code which we have written last time for inserting the data into the database and just paste it here at the top and we will copy this id from here at the rate id and paste it here and instead of any text box or anything we will pass this new guid here as a second argument and just write dot to string so it will convert your new guid to string and then it will save it into the database now let's try and run the program and let's see how it generates the new guid and how your new guid looks in the table so just run your program and i will create a new user so for example new user and some email id and password and password configuration or confirmation and country and i will submit the form and now you see here a unique id is automatically generated for the new user and this unique id is only for this user and is this is unique for every new user you will create so for example one more user we can create so the name of the user is something and the password and the country and submit it and it has generated a new globally unique id for the new user so every id is unique in itself and it will be assigned to only one user so this in this way you can generate a new id for every user and use it with your database table so i hope you have enjoyed this video and in the next video hopefully we will create a new login form and i will show you how to validate login page so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now